shit right now, I wonder what happened. Nah, for real, I piss niggas off. You know you ain't raw, just quit out of rapping. Yeah, yeah, bitches KO. Now niggas out with the floor, my dogs be trapping. Bet I put the whole gang on the map in. Fuck a whore, I'm a kind of a back end. From behind, no one pushing the back end. Bad bitches, I track them. Rolling around this black. Hey man, say man, this your boy Sad Season TV, man, back with another video, man. This time we tapping into another one of Young Chop's many Instagram beefs. Now, as y'all know, throughout <laughs> since last month, since March, up until right now, he's been going on uh, tirades, rants, and lives just exposing people nonstop in the industry, calling people out. Exposing people that he believes to be quote unquote scary, want to be tough guys, bitches, and pussies. He's been calling out so many different people. And as y'all saw a few days ago, uh, the other day, he had got into it with Waka Flocka's homie and producer, Southside of 808 Mafia, and it got heated on that Instagram live where they was, they was, they, you know, they was exchanging words back and forth. It was very vulgar. Even uh, Southside told Chop that uh, his deceased mother that he was gonna piss on his deceased mother's grave. Who well, everybody knows, Young Chop he done lost his mother, uncle, and grandmother. So Southside knew and decided to uh, let that out, put that out there, saying that he was gonna do that. I'm like, man, it's getting real hectic now. And then it's and as if y'all have been paying attention today, uh, Waka Flocka decided to step in to tell Young Chop that hey. Uh, keep me and my out of your IG beefs, little bro, real nigga shit. And Chop replied, fuck you and him on God. And he said, nah, bro, you out your mind. Blessings to you, young king. Now, it's just Walker, <laughs> another person that's writing it off as mental health issues. I'm not going to write it off as that. Now, I do believe uh, deep down, young Chop is still grieving the loss of his mother, uncle, and grandmother. But that does not give anybody the right to just come to just come out the woodwork and just start shit with people, especially on the Internet. I'm not one of those people that feel like you could use your disability or handicap as a cop out when you start something. You, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I believe one of them. I'm one of the people that believe hey, if you violate. I'm going to have to demonstrate. But obviously. Young Chop knows exactly what he's doing, and I don't think he's going to stop because all eyes are on him right now. No matter, like, now he, I, now he's one of those people that thinks, oh, all publicity is good publicity. Okay, that might have worked in the 90s, but stuff like that's kind of bad for people because I don't know if y'all remember when the game put out uh, his album, 1992, it was a legit, it was a pretty good album, but he could have had more sales, but this time he would start beef with Meek Mill. Right before then, it only sold about 32, uh, 32K or something in record sales. Like, he could have had, like, all I'm saying is that, like, this Instagram beef and all this, you know, all this calling folks out is really bad for business. Especially, not just as rappers, but as producers. Because how can people don't ain't going to want to buy your beats or collab with you? And nobody want to do business with you if all you're going to do is call them out about something later on and have people look like, damn, I thought we was cool. But yeah, and also before we get up out of here, I'm one of those people that believe that the Internet ruined hip hop to an extent because all the beefs are online and everybody does it for show. But that's just me, man. I hope, man, I hope Chop just chill out. I hope stuff gets resolved, even though everybody ain't going to see each other. They're just going to be in the house. But yeah, tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, comment for more videos. Hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thank y'all for tuning in to Sad Season TV, man. I'm out. To talk my shit right now, I wonder what happened. Nah, for real, I piss niggas off. You know you ain't raw, just quit out of rapping. Yeah, yeah, bitches KO. Now niggas out with the floor, my dogs be trapping. Bet I put the whole gang on the map in. Fuck a whore, I'm a kind of a back end. From behind, no, I'm pushing the back end. Bad bitches, I track them. Rolling around this black team.